Hey, buddy. What's going on? I just had a call with that guy, Mike, that he answered and told us no, and then uh, that he had to call him back and he didn't answer. I just talked to him and sent that call uh, to Paul. I mean, he's not super motivated, but he would do – owner financing and I, I said no to the uh to the down payment and kind of got through that he did want a five and a half percent interest rate it's a fourplex so i guess it could be a little different with that one i brought him down to four and a half and he said he didn't really want to do that and then i just said well we can get creative so let's uh let's see where we're at now and do you post it in that scripts i didn't post in the scripts but i can i just sent it right to paul just now yeah that's good i'd like to fomo of hey this was a call we did in the high six call that's what we're doing today yeah. And post it. Okay. I can post it on the channel as well. And then tag Paul and tag who is on our call. For sure. Hey, Adam. Hey, guys. All right. Uh, this is recording, right? Yep. We're recording. That's good. Yeah. I got a couple good repurposes out of that. Oh, cool. Um, all right. Get my phone out. Adam, Judy, you guys got. Calls Steve can do? Yes. Great. Well, he's one for one. He booked an appointment in the last one, so. <laughs> Maybe we'll get a contract out of this one. Yeah, we had, uh, we're calling. Uh, we have a one-to-one -one on Tuesdays, Chris, and uh, one of the ones that we talked about, I know we're at least calling for Adam. Sweet. Let me just turn this radio down behind me. Should I have those notes already. Wayne. Uh, Wayne, that's right. Wayne. Mr. Wayne. Uh eighty seven year old retired pastor. Okay. Oh wow. Where is he? Special oh, dude. There he is. Yep. Hey Judy Judy. Hello. How are you guys? Good. 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 Trying to think if I listened to your did I listen to your message this morning? Yeah. Yeah, you did. You told me not to bother with the seasonal right now until it gets closer. Got it. And I get a few more. I do have two appointments, one tomorrow and one Thursday. So I want to make sure I'm all set for those. Um, okay, we should go over that. Okay. Hey, Tony. Uh, I scheduled another appointment for Saturday, too. Oh, cool. We go over that, too. Let's try to get as many live calls as we can, and then we'll uh, save the last, sounds like, 15 for appointments. Yep. That would be good. Um, I guess we can start now, and as they come in, they'll come in. And I said a question for Chris before I call Wayne, but uh, here's John Hoopengardner. Do you last time that format worked good? Yeah. All right, let's start with this. Uh, we didn't set a positive focus. Um, if you obviously you weren't at the event, just do a positive focus. But if you were at the event, we're just going to do a takeaway <clears throat> that you got, your number one takeaway from that event. So mm -hmm. I'll start on the screen with Adam. Sorry, Sue sent me a text message or a message on Slack. I was reading. What was the question? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take away, take away from the event. Like, what's your one takeaway that you can think of instead of a positive focus? So, mine was when when going through the deals. Um, I think I've I think I've noticed, and it kind of got reiterated with you this morning, Steve. You have to have the seller completely through writing the deal before you're ready to do an, an offer because an offer really is just telling them what they said. I love it. And re reaffirming, reaffirming that. So that was a huge takeaway that I had. Awesome. I love and it. Side note, uh, kill all those windows in your computer. One window. Zoom. <laughs> I'm trying. Mm -hmm. I got it. <laughs> uh, Judy, your takeaway. Yeah. So for me, it was um, a big part. There were so many things, but a big part of it was when Rick was talking about getting away from his W-2 and the steps that he took. Um, so that gave me some insights to work on um, with my business plan. But the other thing outside of that was fulfill your promise to yourself. And I know that a big part of it is like, I'll do everything else that I have to do for everybody else. And then at the end of the day, there wasn't any time left for me and what I need to get done. So good one. Well, those are both great ones for you. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you, Judy. Tony. Uh, positive focus today. I had a good call this morning with um, Paul Dion and I made a good connection with, with David uh, with some, for some plans for moving into 2024. It's awesome. And remind you guys, if you missed the event, even if you were there, the replay should be coming out soon and you can dive in and immerse yourself. 
Sweet. Uh, Robert. Uh, mute again for some reason. I, you're not on mute, but... But you're on mute. <laughs> you had this problem last time. I can't remember what it was, though. I uh, think it's connecting his headphones. Mm -hmm. Oh, probably wireless connection. Well, I'll go over to Chris for now until you get that settled. Um, I'm going to say what I said last time. The event, or similar, the event, in my opinion, was the most well-rounded event because it had a little of everything from the genius model. I really I thought it was good good balance, and Dr. Taryn was amazing. She's texting us. She loves the community, so she'll do more with us. I love it. Yeah, uh, I'll kind of mirror what I said last one, too. Same thing. Uh, I thought that section where Paul was vulnerable was was amazing to watch uh, Dr. Taryn with very little information to be able to assess, like analyze and come up with practical steps that seemed very personalized to him without actually knowing how he felt. But I felt like it really connected, connected with me. It was very emotional. So um, I thought that was awesome to watch somebody in their genius mode and be such an expert at it. That was very cool. Uh, how are you doing now, Robert? No good? No bueno? Oh, there you go. Connect into the audio. Here we go. There you go. You good now? Robert, try that. Doesn't sound like he can hear us. <laughs> oh. Okay. John Hoopengardner, we're doing a takeaway from the event. If you weren't at the event, then just a uh, uh, positive focus. Yeah, no, I was there. Sorry, I had to turn my camera off. The connection here is terrible. Uh, yeah, I was able to call in for that for the for, for all of Dr. Taryn's presentation, which was, yeah, my, my biggest takeaway when she, you know, talked about controlling, uh, control the controllables. I think that's what, I think, I think that's mm -hmm. what, how she put it. You know, there's a lot yeah. of things that we can't control. And she also made a statement about like, you should be afraid of your, your W-2 job. And, and that just really hit me hard, you know, cause I, I don't know if, I told everyone here, I mean, they laid off a bunch of people here uh, about a month ago, which was, which was just, it, it like, was hard. Like hundreds, right? Yeah, hundreds, hundreds. So, you know, and Brian used to say this all the time, he's like, your W-2 is your biggest risk. And yeah, you know, I, I, I listened to that, but now I'm just like, okay, this is real. <laughs> so, uh, but anyways, I, I liked that whole presentation from Dr. Taren. That was my biggest takeaway. Love it. All right, uh, Chris. I'll, I'll, do the, well, I'll just do the three things and then we'll jump right to calls. So uh, just schedule wise, you guys, um, Tuesday is the mastermind, the high six mastermind. The following week is between Christmas and New Year's. There'll be no calls. Going to give the coaches a deep breath, give you guys a deep breath. Everybody worked real hard this year. And then we'll we'll um, rekindle the following week. Um, and um I don't know what the, what the call is because our company is technically off Tuesday, but we'll figure that out. Just between the two holidays, we know we're off, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and then what I would do from the event, some of you are probably already did it from being there, but um, I would come up with not just the three action items that you probably already have, but because of the event, what are some three things you can strip away? We did this, but we continue to do it to a year end a lot. Three things I'm going to do, but three things I'm going to strip away. So... We're not unnecessarily stacking, but smartly stacking. Mm -hmm. Love it. Anybody have any comments or questions about that before we move past it? Robert, you're working on or are you good? No? Okay. Go ahead, uh, Adam. Um, to me, I've been working a lot on clarity, and Steve's helped a lot. To me, it's asking the right questions to know what to strip away, and sometimes you don't know, so it's extremely helpful to remove some of the barriers that I didn't even see were barriers. So the clarity of following the seven steps or taking and getting people into that process so that you know that the desired goal is coming and there's not a question. And that to me is what's the most been most clear to me is that clarity of focus gets the clarity of results. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm going to try to do. It's super important. You guys reviewed your stuff and caught some things. It's super important. We always Bring the bring what we're doing to the group because you never know stuff creeps in, right? And you can be wasting all this time. I talked to Kenny again and he was still listening to VA calls, Steve, which I thought we squished, but thought he had to listen to every VA call before he called that lead. Mm -hmm. and, gosh, it'll kill your day. Yeah. So yeah, good, good review always to check and recheck and recal uh calibrate your systems. 
Um, Steve, jump into some calls. What do you think? Yeah, I go. I'm going to call uh, Wayne, which is uh, uh, Adam Seller uh, first, and this is kind of to review. It's kind of like a deal review, like meaning like making sure we're confirming the numbers so we can go ahead and get them an agreement out. Uh, While he's doing that, did you guys submit leads to the channel with me and Steve? Any leads could be even a VA call that you didn't call it yet. Anything. Oh, I didn't know we were supposed to submit them. Yeah. I have them right here. So do you want me to just scan them and upload them? Yeah, upload them to me and Chris, and I'll find them on the ch in our thing. Okay. Um, you know, while we're doing this call, that's perfect. I just had one, two minutes here to question for you what your thoughts are on this. So for the majority of this, this is like already taken care of. He's got 48 months on it, and he's got uh, – the guy agreed to 4.5% interest, um, which is okay. I just figured um, – after looking at the numbers, the monthly payment on a $272,000 house with his taxes, which are super high, they're like almost like $600 a month. Um, it's like $2,073 a month. Now, we are, it's okay because it's not a super high interest rate. My idea with this call was to try to get him off of an interest rate in an amortization schedule and get him down to uh, like $1,550, which is just a principal and interest. The $2,000 that I just told you, that's with, with taxes and insurance. Um, the 4.5% interest puts our payment at 1378. If I can get a couple hundred dollars off that payment and then just focus on a specific amount of principal and a specific amount of interest a month instead of an amortization schedule is my thought, or do you think I just go with the four and a half percent? Uh, a couple of questions and, and, and answers. Um, so the four and a half is good. I mean, 13, the house is 270 ish, 272. He wants. Two. Yeah, I, I mean, Forbes is going to get you enough principal pay down if we give them that and try to get something else. What were you talking about the taxes? Because we're passing that on anyway. We can negotiate with them, but that's just, we're going to pass that on anyway. Yeah, this is an owner finance deal. So the taxes and insurance are somewhere around $700 a month combined, which is pretty high for a, a pound. But I mean, it's that part of all noise. It's all relative, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Steve, <laughs> to your point though, you can use it to negotiate with him going, oh, when, when I add taxes back, it's high. But we know we're passing it on anyway. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I guess my question was, do you think I first start with uh, trying to get him off of an AM schedule because he wants that 4.5 or do we just kind of go with the flow because the deal is almost written? What do you think? I would just like to ask maybe one thing, one question, and that is um, I can get you to your four and a half or whatever that interest rate is. Um, if I can go the first uh, 12 payments principal only. Okay. And then go to four and a half with the balance um shit to really make them happy you could, you could say i ran my numbers and i can go i can go to 4.75 in year two on as long as i can get that first 12 months ramp of the principal only his cash flow won't change keep the payment 13 and change right just an idea i love the first year principal only because it hammers it and then the rate, the little 0.25 we gave him is irrelevant. You just erase 1,300 times 12. Gotcha. You know what I mean? The balance came down. Gotcha. Okay. All right, let's give him a call. Just an idea. Um, Adam, just read me his number because I just don't have it in front of me. 309. 309. 756. 756. 9476. 9, Everybody mute. Six. And he knows it's just me calling, right? Uh, I I didn't I I told him it might call and I could three way you in but you I'll take care I'll just I'll just say you couldn't make it that's fine yep <clears throat> guys give me a thumbs up if you hear the phone ringing and everybody mute I'll I'll uh, message you Steve. yeah you're good okay hello hey Wayne it's uh, Steve Mernick Adam uh, Steen had to give you a call he just tied up at the moment so I just wanted to give you a call about your house you had for sale. Okay. How are you? Here. How are you today, sir? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent, excellent. So I had some numbers that Adam gave in front of me. I figured we could review them together, make sure it's a fit for you, and if everything's good, we can send you over some numbers if that works. Sound good? Oh, okay. Go ahead. I'm, I'm listening. All um, right. Let me, let me get. Look, wait a minute. Let me get up. Yeah, take your time. Let me, let, let, let me get a, a yellow pad here. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, now you're calling from Rhode Island, is that correct? Yes, sir. I'm in Rhode Island. Obviously, Adam's in your area, but I'm over in Rhode Island. Okay, and you're you're with Adam, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. We we buy houses together. Okay. Okay. And so, 
so uh, what I had here is you were looking to get the 272 for the house. That's right, right? That is correct. Okay, and if we could get you the 272, the 48 months uh, until we cashed you out, that would work for you as well? Uh, yes. Okay. And of course, all, all this is contingent upon, you know, the contractual language that is, is uh, that, that, you, that you sent out. And, yeah, of course. And, uh, and the documents that my wife and I need to sign and, uh, and, and review of these documents, but yes. Yeah, yeah, no, of course, and obviously um... – We'll get that all over to you. But now I want to just make sure what the numbers that were in the agreement actually worked for you. Sounds like so far uh, we're on the right track here. Um, I had here that you were looking for the 4.5% interest. That's the number you were shooting for, right? Well, that's, that's the number that Adam proposed. Yep. Uh, it was 4.45, yes, sir. Okay, yep, that's 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 what I got here. Um just to kind of give you an idea. So we can we can make the 4.5% interest work. Um, the only thing we would need though, just because it's, it's a little on the higher end than what we wanted, but we'll make it work, is if we can make the first uh, year, meaning the first 12 payments, um, be principal only, and then year two through, uh, four, uh, two through four, we'll kick right into the 4.5% interest. Um, and that would that would be something where our numbers would work. Okay. Well, so then I, I'm actually getting um, roughly uh, uh, three point three or somewhere in that in that area. Since I'm, I'm just I'm getting zero percent interest for the first year. Just for the first year, yes, and then you'll get right kicked into the four five, four point five. Excuse me. Okay. All right. I, I'll have to ponder that. Okay. Go go and go and correct. Go and crunch the numbers and tell me where they are, and I, I, I'm not going to say yes or no to you on that point at this point. Yep. So I, I did uh, I did do some of the numbers already. Obviously, after year one being the principal payment, we'll put the 4.5% interest on what the remaining balance is. Uh, but just to kind of give you an idea, the first, uh, the first payment of the 45 um, just year one, obviously it's principal only, but just so you have an idea, it's thirteen seventy eight and eighteen cents um, on that first payment. But obviously it'll adjust from the year uh, year two when we. Give me that number again. Yeah, thirteen hundred seventy eight dollars and eighteen cents. Okay. So and then the next one is. And then we'll just adjust uh, adjust for how much is paid down. So we'll just re-amortize it. And uh, but that those numbers, at least from what I'm reading to you, those put us in a way where we know that we can maximize with you, and we can still make it work on our end. Did, right. you, did you have any questions specifically? Because uh, I have. Well, let me just look at my clock here. I have about four minutes until my my uh my zoom meeting so did you have any questions that i could answer for you uh wayne about this well i i'm, I'm not i'm not going to i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to ponder this I'm, this is uh this is a curveball what's not anticipating uh okay and i i'm just uh i'm just not sure okay uh, I, I can't i can't give you an answer in four minutes no 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 that's okay i don't, I don't need you to uh you know, to, to come up with your answer now, this is all good for you to, uh, to take in and we'll have another phone call once you thought about it. I just didn't know if you had any questions on anything else that we talked about. Well, I mean, and, and the, the one year principle does not start for 120 days, right? Yeah. We'd obviously have that marketing period, uh, that you and Adam had talked about. Yep. Yeah. So we're actually talking about 16 months, man. We're 16 months out. Okay. Um, which is my, my stuff now here. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I was just reading an article yesterday. Uh, um, uh, I, I would be interested for you to comment on Please. talking about uh, how the uh, uh, I, th I think it was on Breitbart or, or maybe richbait.com. It, it was a, a um, article speaking about the mortgage payments now running the general 
household over three thousand dollars a month, and and which is uh, which is drying up the marketplace. Uh, is is that what you find to be true? Yeah, well, what we're, what we're seeing right now is these interest rates are so high that it's pricing out somewhere around, um, it's like 78 to 82% of the people who could normally get and get a mortgage, they can't now. So that's the reason why, you know, where we were talking about with the interest rate of 4.5 being our cap, we know if we're above that, then we can't sell these houses because we run into the same exact issue the banks are. So we're just being cognizant of that. So we can obviously uh, get you paid as well. Yeah. So, I mean, are, are you finding that, uh, who, who knows where inflation is heading, especially if, uh, uh, I'm going to show my bias here about Mr. Biden, um, but but if if we continue here with uh, the economy going like it's going, um, are, are you, you feel absolutely confident that after four years uh, that uh, there is, is is there either going to be a, turn, a turnaround in the economy or B, uh, you're going to be able to market this through some creative methodology? Yeah, so uh, just because I got to run in a minute, but I will tell you this, I'm not, an, I'm not an economist, but I can tell you that we are very good at what we do with the foremost experts in the country and we're accredited in creative financing, which most people aren't. So yes, you will get cashed out and you'll have a good experience with us, but when it comes to the economy, I unfortunately do not have a crystal ball. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. All right, let's do this then. I think we... So, let's... so who should I talk to? Should I talk to you or should I talk to Adam? No, we can talk with me and Adam and you the next time we speak. I want to give you, whether it's a day or two, you tell me what's an amount of time that you're comfortable with to think about this, and then we'll talk again when you have an idea of when you're ready, I assume with, with tomorrow or the day after, um, or Friday be a day that could work for you for us to reconvene? Okay. Uh, I, I, I guess on the fly and off, I'm not an economist and I'm not in creative housing uh, and I'm, I'm not in, and, and it's, we got an uneven playing field here in the sense that uh, you're wise and you, you have been made a lucrative uh, career out of this and I'm, I'm Mr. Amateur. Uh, it's like a and uh, so I, I, I really do need to yeah. uh, to digest some of this and also speak to some people who have some wisdom on this subject. Of course. Uh, so I, I would like to believe I can get back to you in 48 hours. I, uh, I'm not 100% sure that that's a, uh, that's fine. a fair timeline, uh, especially now in light of, uh, uh, like you said, uh, uh, me sitting on zero return uh, other than the uh, capital itself coming in in, in the first year. Um, I'll have I'll have Adam reach out to you probably tomorrow or maybe even in 48 hours. I'll just communicate with him and just have him go ahead and uh, and just get a time together. Um, and I just unfortunately have to jump right now, but um, I'll have Adam reach out to you. So. Oh, you're good, Wayne. You're good, Wayne. Um, okay. Nice to talk to you, Wayne. It was nice to meet you, and we'll be in contact with you shortly. Fair enough. Okay. Bye bye, Wayne. Goodbye. Okay. Good job. All right, we're off. Um, yeah, well, I don't want to. I don't want to negotiate with this guy while he's still thinking about it. Right? We'll just sit there and let him come up with whatever it is he's come up with. We already know we have room, right? That's it's like, fine. yeah, it'd be like a grand slam if he agrees to it, of course. But there's still uh, plenty of room. So you guys have questions about this before we? Move to the next one. Anybody? I'll let you guys fire away. I uh, then I have a couple comments. <clears throat> Adam, Adam has a question. No one has questions on this. Yeah, Adam. Well, in in general, <clears throat> the the back and forth to set the expectation. Uh, I always had you had two or one or two calls to get this done, but to me, this is the process to set the expectation that it's not always just one or two calls to get some people to the finish line. That That's what I took away. So thanks. Yeah. Now you can, oh, unfortunately yeah. can't rush their timeline, unfortunately. I think he's going to do it. Um, but yes, good observation. A um, couple things. Um, when he said, the only thing that stood out is when he said, he automatically assumed 120 because we took 120 as a contingency, but it also could be seven days. Um, I've seen five to, I've seen 180, right? 
So if he's focused on 120, next time you guys talk to him, just go, oh, yeah, I was thinking about what you said. We can sell these in two weeks and we can sell it in four months. I don't know. But that's just the contingency we put out there. So that's one thing. Second thing, when he comes back to you guys, remember, you always can go up for year two in the interest rate. It's a great thing to keep in your back pocket when he calls you. Because you see how fast he calculated what it meant when he took away a year? That guy's shot. So you guys can throw 4.75 or 5 at him in year two, and you are way better off. Okay. He's no dumb bunny. He, the guy shops a tech. <laughs> He's um, very sure. And yep. Chris, what would that do? Just like. Well, the effective interest rate, numbers. he did it in his head really quick. He said, that means my effective interest rate is about 3.33. I bet you without me looking at it, the guy is probably within a point. So if you're getting a whole year of interest, you can go as high as five. That's why I do it that way. Most sellers don't get that. Like, oh, you'll go to five? F okay, I'll do it. This guy, boom, gave you the number of the effective interest rate. Chris, what if uh, my other, my only other thought with this was bringing our payment down and obviously it affects the principal pay down. But what if we, I mean, it would benefit him too, is if we looked at a 40 year amortization schedule and see if it brought that. You could. That, so you have down. three things in your, in your, in your bag of tricks, Steve. Yeah. hundred percent. Cause then he'll make more money interest and you'll find out where his priority is. Is it, is it just the interest? Cause then give it to him and go later. Yep. Okay. Um, the last thing, I think what he said when he asked, when he started to get into the economy with Steve and Steve, four times you told me how to go, which was perfect. Um, I, he said something about getting it sold in four years. So if I understood him correctly, you might want to, when you guys are on the phone, go, hey, reminder, we sell this today. We're not worried about four years. I don't care less what it does in four years. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the only things I wrote. All cool things though. So good, great, great call. You have four or five things in your bag of tricks when you when you call them back, you and go. you'll get it done. I think you get them for the weekend. Yeah, sweet. Anybody else want to move on to another one? No, this guy's been very interesting going back and forth because he's got another guy in his pocket that's got five million in properties that keeps talking to him. They did the math in ten minutes about the interest rate when I talked to him last time. Yeah, just block out that noise though when you guys talk to him. It's you or you don't you know you can't get involved in all that. Yeah, yeah. By the way, if he's that shop, he could tell you he has 50 people in Zach Park and he may or may not. Yeah. Oh, I, I talked to him. It's a good he's a good guy. Yeah. Good guy to deal with. All right. Tony, uh the next one I got here, Tony. It, where where is this call? Is this a VA one you've called yet? Follow up? What is this? Mm -hmm.